Okay. We just started the recording. So, does anyone want to announce anyone for rank advancement or anything you know that you guys want to recognize someone for? I do. <clears throat> um, so, Amy, who is on the call, is now Emerald, and she enrolled four people in two days. Wow. Which is amazing. Nice. Um, and she's really excited to learn more about the business. Um, she's sort of like I was at the beginning, like just wanted everything to happen all at once and have everything be set. So I can totally relate to that. But she is like, you know, all in and I'm so excited for her. Um, and um, who else? My friend Alyssa Fucci reached Emerald, and my mom reached Emerald. <laughs> wow. Yay, mom. Yay, mommy. Huh? And I know Allison has some people. Um, my girl Ashley um, reached Emerald. She's just waiting. Like, it happened, like, Thursday because – she enrolled her a second person on her left leg, so we had to have it switched. So it didn't go through Thursday, so it'll go through this Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, and my other girl, Tammy, is on our call now. Hi. Um, hi, Tammy. Hi, hi. Tammy. <laughs> um, she is... What that? You guys aren't talking. Do you guys want to mute yourselves, please? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Tammy is super ready to go and uh, looking forward to learning everything. And she's got lots of questions for me. So we're going to hop on a call after this call and talk and get lots of stuff straightened out. So I'm really excited for her. Awesome. I have a quick shout out to okay. <clears throat> um, my husband's not on the call, but he's been doing amazing lately. So I just want to give him a huge shout out because he's been rocking the business. And um, he just has a coach that hit Emerald and another coach that's halfway to Emerald. So I'm so excited for him. Awesome. Tammy keeps going in and out, but um. Yeah, she's driving. Um, uh, so I can't get mine to mute. I don't know. You keep muting and then unmuting, but all right. I, I guess on my side, it shows everybody else is muted, but not me. But I don't know how to unmute it. When you're on your phone, you just use the mute button that you would normally use. I think. I'd have to close out of the app, I guess, unless I log. Because if I shut it off, then I can't hear anybody else either. Hold on, let me try it again. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Is that bad? Is it? No, it's still not muted. Let me see. Yeah, the, and there's nothing showing up. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. All right. Sorry. I won't talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get started. So, Jenny, feel free to jump in at any time because I'm probably going to be going all over the place here. So last week, um, for those that don't know, Jennifer and I attended my coach's leadership up north in New Hampshire in the White Mountains. Um, basically, this retreat was put on by my coach and she welcomed mm -hmm. all of the diamonds there. Um, yeah, this is kind of loud. Can you guys hear me? It's, it's really like in and out. Um, I think I thought I thought I used the app last time, and I think there's a way to mute it, but I'm not sure how. There she goes. I know, but I think now she can't hear us. Oh. Crap. Okay. Well, we'll just continue. So this is going to be a little bit all over the place. I just kind of was looking at my notes from the retreat and going over everything and really just want to bring everything to share with you. So it's basically going to be an overview of the business and how you can really utilize things to set yourself up to be successful. Um, and like I said, Jenny, feel free to chime in at any time. If um, there's something that you feel like either I'm missing or you kind of want to talk more about, so the first thing I really want to talk about is how much of a gift social media is in this business. You know, I think we all realize you can use social media to hit a wide range of people. You know, I mean, how many friends I started this business with probably around, I don't know, 1500 friends. Most people I think start around 500 friends because 
Um, maybe they're not too active on Facebook. They, you know, they kind of just use it as a way to keep up with people. Um, but really, we should see social media as such a big gift and an opportunity to be able to reach a good amount of people in your target market. So, you know, that's something that was really discussed during the retreat and then, you know, growing your business and growing your market and the opportunity to reach high volumes of people at once. So this is why it's so important to, you know, be posting two to three times a day on your page, you know, engaging with people, seeming exciting, um, you know, creating a like page that people can also engage with. Um, you know, you, you want to be, you want to show people that this is something that you're interested in. This is something you're doing. This is something you're passionate about. And you want to be a product of the product and, you know, show that through so social media. Um, another important thing to really be doing in this business is listening to webinars, listening to podcasts and investing in personal development. So I know, you know, if, if I'm your upline or if you have another upline coach, I know Jenny and Meg, for instance, you know, put a lot of time into personal development. And it's something that has helped, you know, a lot of my coaches very early on in this business because it is tough. You are starting to run your own business. So you're going to have difficult times where you have doubts in yourself. You have doubts in this opportunity. Um, and really digging deep and doing personal development and finding this belief with inside of you that this is something you can do and this is something that you, you know, you, you see the potential in and believe in and personal development really helps with that. And the book that I'm currently reading right now is You Are a Badass and this is a really great book for people that haven't read it. Um, I highly recommend the book and I'll definitely post it in the team page after this. Um, and if you have any questions about personal development or things that you need to be working on, you know, always reach up to your outline coach and ask what they feel like, what book would be best. And I'm always around too. I have a huge list of books on leadership or networking with friends, um, how to make friends and, you know, how to, um, use social media to the best of its ability. So there's a bunch of books out there to help you grow. Um, so please don't, you know, stop doing personal development or don't start just because it's something that's unknown to you and you don't really know where to begin, just reach out and kind of ask for help on that. Um, another important thing about this business is using the phone. And I know I still kind of don't do this as well. And it's like, you know, when you're talking to leads and obviously, like I said, the first way to start is to be promoting things on Facebook and engaging with people through social media. Um, you know, you can use Instagram, you can use Twitter, any, basically any way to reach a good amount of people. Um, and then it's natural to kind of just send them a no in talking about the products. But it's really when you can get on the phone with someone where, you know, they have the opportunity to hear your passion and you, you, it's easier to answer all of their questions and to kind of, you know, get them excited about this opportunity, get them excited about the products, tell them why you are a beach body, beach body coach, tell them why you love these products so much. Um, you know, hearing someone's voice and actually engaging with people on the phone or even better if you guys can do a FaceTime, you know, that's awesome too. Um, not just having a conversation with them over a message, you know, obviously that works and it's something that is very in the comfort zone of all of us. And, you know, we do well that way. Um, but I think being able to have that one-on-one, -on -one, you know, personal conversation with someone goes a long way. They, they feel, you know, you're a real person on the other end. You're not just trying to sell them something. You're there for them that, to support them, to guide them through this whole entire program and to be their coach. Cause that's really such an important part of this business is believing in people. And, you know, I'm, for those that don't know, this is my year anniversary at the end of this month, um, which is super exciting in coaching. So on March, I think it's 23rd, it'll be a year in this business. And, you know, I've almost questioned at times, it's like, I am doing really well. And it's like, why have I been successful? And it's something that I thought about a lot last weekend. And I was talking with Kim Carver about who, um, for those that don't know, is a guy from corporate who's um, the support in the East region for six star diamonds and above. And he was like, Heather, like, it's really simple. It's like, you believe, you believe in people, you believe in this opportunity and you believe in yourself. And I guess I second guess myself, like, like we all do at times in this business. And I know the person that I am and I know I believe in these products, but it really, I never really looked at it to being that simple, but it is belief and so important in this business. And 
most importantly, believing in yourself is huge, but believing in people is number one. The way you're going to grow your team and the way you're going to truly help others is by believing in them. You know, there are so many people that I've helped that if I didn't believe in them, I honestly don't think they would have taken a step in this journey. And it's not about, you know, it's not about you. It's about the opportunity to really change someone's life and to really help them. And that's how you really are successful in this business. Um, you have your why of why you're doing this. You have your goals, but unless you connect with something bigger than yourself and unless you, you know, you really truly care about helping others and put in the time there, I really think you may be successful in this business, but you maybe will struggle a little more than the next person because you're not connecting with people in the way that if you were, you'd be a lot more successful. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is using the, using not only your upline coach, but top coaches. So I know when someone signs on as a coach with me, I'll send them a list of top coaches that I follow in the business. And what I mean by a top coach is someone that's been in this business for a couple of years now is doing really well. Maybe they're an elite coach or premier coach, or they're in the top 10 last year, which is extremely, you know, that's a really powerful thing. And, um, they've done really well in this business and you want to start following people who you admire that you can look up to, that you can connect to, um, and see what they're doing. And if there's something that they're doing that inspires you and you feel like, wow, like how are they doing so well in this business? Maybe there's something I can learn from them. Don't feel like you can't utilize other people in the beach body community because you can. That's one of the most amazing things about this opportunity is that yes, we're, you know, we're not working against each other. We're actually working with each other. Obviously we're all pushing to succeed. We're all pushing to reach the top, but I haven't in the year that I've been in coaching experienced a situation where I reached out to someone and they were like, sorry, you're not in, like, you're not in my downline. You know, here's the door. Like they actually are really willing to help anyone. They're willing to, you know, show you the ropes and to guide you and to answer your questions as to what they're doing and how it can help you. Um, so please utilize people in that, in that way. And if you don't feel comfortable completely reaching out to them over a personal message on Facebook, you know, another great opportunity is to go on YouTube. Top coaches have an amazing, um, usually YouTube, YouTube channel where they have several different videos, um, you know, training videos, talking to their team, whatever it may be, how they set themselves up to be successful. Definitely utilize YouTube as a great tool for you in this business. And even if there's not a specific coach that you're looking into, maybe it's um, Success Club or maybe it's how to create diamonds under you. And if you're a diamond and you want to get to that next level and you want to become a star of diamond, just Google on YouTube, how do I create diamonds? And a bunch of these different videos will come up that you'll be able to use to help you. Um, I know, I don't think she's on the call this week, but Lindsay Benson's one of my newer coaches and um, she's told me like, you know, she has two twins and another toddler. So like she has three kids and she's crazy busy and she's like, it's so much easier for me to just watch a video than, you know, to read something or something like that. So don't overestimate how powerful, you know, a YouTube video can be and how helpful that can be. I mean, it's almost like a, pod, a, a podcast. You could listen to it on the way to work. You could listen to it when you're walking down the street, like whatever it is, it's an opportunity for you to be learning and growing in this business. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is posting on social media and not just posting Beachbody. You don't, you want people to know that you are a Beachbody coach. One of the easy ways to do that is to change your work on Facebook to, um, team Beachbody coach or diamond coach for Beachbody, whatever it may be to make sure people know when they go to your page, they know that this is something you're doing. But at the same time, you don't want to be screaming Beachbody on your page. Because that doesn't set you apart from any other Beachbody coach. As we know, Beachbody's been around for about 10 years. I know there's always a concern with some people that, Am I, did I start too late? Am I in it too late? Is there still enough people that we can reach? And there absolutely is enough people you can reach. But you want to stand out, you know, and be your own person and be independent and be unique. You know, you... In this business, you do really well by finding people that are like you. So if you're just posting Beachbody, Beachbody, Beachbody... People may, like, people may kind of, you know, be looking at your post, it may perk interest if they are familiar with Beachbody and they want to start a project, but a product, but they're not really going to relate to who you are as a person. 
And that's such an important part of this business is growing yourself as a brand and people connecting with who you are. So, you know, for instance, if you, if you love fashion and, or if you love faith or if you love family, you know, this is something that you should continue to be posting about to inspire people. It doesn't just have to be health and fitness related. You should always be thinking about five passions that you have. Um, and you know, mine, mine are faith, family, fitness, fashion, um, and, you know, these are the things that I try to post about on a daily basis and not just to be posting about, you know, just the Shakeology that I'm drinking or just the workout I'm doing because people are going to get sick of seeing that every day. Um, so, you know, that's something to really keep in mind and to think about when someone goes to your page, what do they want? What do you want them to think? Do, like if, you know, you could try to do maybe um, a little test and ask one of your friends or ask someone that's not, you know, too close to the business to go to your Facebook page and say, Hey, like, what do you think when you look at my page and, you know, pick someone that's going to be honest with you. And maybe that will be a good way for you to kind of figure out, am I on track of, you know, trying to brand myself in the right light? Am I posting things that, you know, engaging with people the way that I would like them to. Um, I think that really will be a good exercise for some people. And it's something that I'm constantly evolving on and thinking about and thinking about my page when, you know, I post something and it doesn't get a lot of likes. I think, well, is that something that I would have liked? Is that something that I can really relate to? Is it, is it engaging? So constantly be thinking about that when you're posting and trying to engage with people. Um, always remember that marketing is what you do, but branding is who you are, which kind of goes along with what I was just saying. So yes, you want to market the products and you want people to um, understand what you're doing and you want to tell them about a challenge group, but make sure that you're branding yourself as well. Um, be normal. I know that sounds kind of funny, but um, you know, you don't want to be like this overly crazy person where people are like, oh my God, like, she's just trying to sell me something or he's just trying to sell me something. And it's like, it's too much and it overwhelms people and they really, they almost don't know what you're doing. They just think you're a little crazy. So, you know, try to be as normal as possible and think about what you're posting and to attract people, not scare people away. Um, create videos. I know Jen and Meg have been amazing with this since they started as a coach and it's something that is proving to be really um, powerful and beneficial in this business because it's just a, another way to connect with people and for them to get to know you, whether it's a working out video, whether it's a video where you're talking to someone, where you're engaging with someone, you know, instead of talking about a challenge pack, you know, on a post, why don't, why don't you make a video and say, Hey, this new group starting up, this is why I'm starting up the group. I had amazing results with this program. I want to be able to give this gift to you. When they feel that excitement and they feel that passion for the product through your voice, through seeing you, it's way more powerful than just putting a few words on a page um, and then kind of just looking at it and thinking, well, this is something that I need to do, but I don't know, like, and they just ignore it. A video is such more powerful. It's going to reach a good amount of people because if people engage with it and they start liking it, you know, there's an opportunity that these things can go viral. Um, so I really, really strongly advise that you guys start making videos. I know for me, it's completely out of my comfort zone. It's something that I've, you know, I've been getting better with too. Um, for those, those who are friends with me, I posted a really um, emotional, deep video actually at the retreat last week. If you guys didn't see it, you can go back in my page and look at it. And you know, it's one of those moments where you do get vulnerable because you are speaking from your heart and it's something, this business has done so much for me already that it's emotional for me. And, you know, I see my future with this business and I see the opportunity and, you know, it's almost happy tears, but it's an, it's an emotional journey for me. And it's something that I want to share with the world and I want people to understand that this opportunity could change your life if you allow it to. And that's something that you guys constantly want to be thinking about too. If you feel that way, if you see the opportunity in this um, and believe you want that to come across to people and making a video is a great way to do that. Um, share a long-term vision. So like that video too, that I'm talking about, you want people to understand you know, this isn't just a short term thing. This is an opportunity, like, especially with the 21 day fix. I have people ask me all the time, what do I do after the, after 20 days? And sometimes I hate the name of the program to be completely honest, because people get so confused with what it is. I think it's a quick fix and I've never been someone to promote quick fixes. So, you know, I always try to tell people from day one, you know, the idea of the 21 day fixes, it's not 
to end at 21 days. It takes 21 days to change your bad habits into good habits. And I talk to them about, you know, what's going to happen after the 21 days and how I'm still going to help them reach their goals. And we'll, you know, at that point, we'll talk about, you know, how they're doing and where they see themselves and what other, maybe they have new goals for themselves to achieve. Or maybe at that point, they've done so well with the program, they now want to think about becoming a coach. So always have a long-term vision, not only for yourself, but with your challengers and with your discount coaches and with, with your active coaches and help them to put that long-term vision into, into play. Like one of the things we did, which I thought was brilliant, was my coach brought in all these boards that she had bought at a creative store and had us all make dream boards. So that's something that I would love for you guys to do. If you guys haven't done one yet for 2015, just take a board, go to some craft store. They have these boards that you can get, get some push pins, get a few magazines and start ripping shit out. Start making this dream board. You know, you, I always picture things in my head and I really, the first year in this business, I was kind of like pig headed and I was like, I don't need a dream board. I don't need to write down my goals. It's all up here. And you know, for a while it worked well for me. And then you, I realized how powerful it was when I started kind of writing things down and I started, you know, making dream boards, how powerful it is to look at it every day. You think it's up here, but when you're actually, you wake up and whether if it's, if you have an office to do this business or you have a small apartment like me and it's a shoebox, you kind of just put it up anywhere you can. <laughs> and you want it to be someplace where you look at it today. Some people um, that I know actually, and this is probably only gonna work if you live alone because your spouse or someone probably won't want to see it every day, but they literally have taken lipstick and wrote on their mirrors like their goals. So whatever is gonna work for you, whatever is the opportunity for you to be looking at these goals every day, that's gonna engage you and that's gonna get you excited and motivated. Um, you know, maybe it's your why too. You always wanna be connecting with your why and why you're doing this. And I know. I've talked about my why before, but your why should be a really powerful thing and why you're pushing forward in this business. You know, I have a strong why, I have a lot of whys. Um, you know, for something more simple, I know Jenny, you know, one of her big goals is to get Bucky out of bartending, her husband. Um, you know, I was just talking with another one of my coaches and her goal is to get her husband out of his job too because he's miserable. And it's like, that's a huge why, a huge powerful why to push towards to succeed in this business because you know, creating financial freedom for your family has to be one of the biggest goals for people in this business. And it absolutely is possible. Um, you know, I'm not going to share a screen right now of numbers, but my coach finally, you know, she's, she's kind of shy about sharing, you know, where she is in this business and her success when it comes to numbers, but she shared it with us last weekend. And although I knew the potential that this business had, it still blew my mind. Um, you know, a year or two in this business, she was making, you know, six figures and now she's making well into six figures. And this isn't just her business. This is consistent. Her coach was there. Another top coach was there. And they all said their businesses look very similar to the how, how it plays out. So know that your hard work now, the first year is tough. You're building your business. You're trying to build your coaches, your team, but it will pay off. And I 100% believe that. And I'm not just saying that because I'm living proof. I'm seeing it happen. You know, the people that I've actually talked to, like my coach and these other coaches who, her coach is now a millionaire in this business. Like, you know, when I first heard that, when I started, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every direct marketing person says they're a millionaire, like bullshit, you know? And if they did it, like who else can do it? But I don't feel that anymore. After talking to people and seeing the potential and the opportunity, I absolutely think it's possible for each and every one of us. And I'm going to do whatever I can to help you guys get there. You know, something that I've realized in the last couple months is I had a strong passion when I started this business and why I've done well is for helping others and wanting others to succeed with their health and fitness goals. But, and that passion hasn't changed, but I'm realizing how important it is to me to actually help other people, other coaches as well, and other coaches to create this life of freedom for them or whatever it is, if it's financial freedom or freedom to be with their family or the freedom to be able to travel more, or the opportunity to put more in their savings, whatever your why is or why you're doing this and why you want something more out of life, be connected to that why. And that is something that's so powerful for me. and. 
I think that's why it's now changing to be so powerful for me to help others to get there because I'm realizing the potential and how much it's changing my life. And I want to do that for all of you. Um, so, you know, even if I'm not your upline coach, I mean, I'm your upline, like, but if like, say, um, Allison, like Meg is your direct upline, but I'm still here and I want you guys to know you can always reach out to me if you need to. Um, you know, don't feel like you're bothering me or anything. I put my heart and soul into this business and I'm willing to help any of you if I can. So please always know that and don't feel like, you know, you're scared to reach out or you think it's a stupid question. Um, you know, something to always remember is that good leaders ask great questions. My top coaches, like my coaches that have done really well in this business, Jenny, Lindsay, um, Catherine, who's not on the call either. Um, they have asked so many questions in the beginning. Like, I mean a lot, I was getting texts like every five minutes and I was like, okay, ladies. But, but honestly, I really was like open to it because I knew that this meant that they were all in with the business. You know, they were excited. They were on fire. And I wanted to help them. And yeah, it was a lot at first, but it's okay. And make sure your coaches know that. Make sure, I mean, obviously, if you need to set boundaries with them, if, you know, depending on your job, and if you can't be answering texts all the time, you know, tell them these are the hours that maybe won't work well for you. But make sure they know that you're there. You don't want to grow coaches. You want to grow leaders. And that's such an important thing. And that's something they said this past weekend. And I kind of just did it without really thinking about it. But it really connected with me that I was like, wow, I am growing leaders. Like my diamonds aren't just diamonds. Like they're now star diamonds. Like my team's killing it. And I'm just like, you know, part of me is like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Right. But like, it must be doing something right. Um, but it's just like, the whole point is to like, feel like, you know, I always tell Jenny and I always tell my other coaches, like, I'm here for you whenever you need me. And I think they believe that. And that's something that's really important, you know, to feel like you can help them. And if, if you don't feel like you can help them, if you feel like maybe you're too new as a coach and you have someone that's growing quickly and you feel like, oh, I'm new at this too. I don't know if I can help them in the way that I can. Please ask me to help them. Please reach out. Ask Jenny, ask Meg, ask someone that you feel like will know the answer. Post it in the Team Choose to Shine page, the question, and you know, allow us, one of us to answer for them. Don't just kind of shy away from it or tell your team um, or the coach that you're working with, I don't know. Um, cause you don't want them to get discouraged. You know, it'd be good for yourself to learn as well. So always know that there's someone in the Beachbody network that can answer these questions for you. Um, you know, one of the other things is, um, offer value, always educate, inspire, and entertain people. And that goes back to social media too, and your page and branding yourself. It's like, you know, like I said, I've been looking at your posts and think about the posts that you're writing and you know, is this educating people on what I'm doing and the products? Is this inspiring people? If I was, you know, if I was looking at Jenny's page, like would I be inspired or I'd be like, oh, she's posting another stupid workout pic, like good for her. Look at her eight pack abs. I'll never get those. Don't like make people think that they can't do it. Inspire them to want to reach out to you and, you know, tell them, actually, this is something that you can do. You can have these eight pack abs and this is how, because I'm going to give you the tools and I'm going to set you up to be successful, and I'm going to be here coaching you every step of the way. Um, and entertain them. This is something my boyfriend keeps telling me, and he's like, you need to have more fun with this. Like, post funny videos. Like, be stupid. Like, so this is something that I'm going to, you know, try working on too, and obviously be yourself, and you want it to come across as genuine, but have fun. You know, there are several coaches, um, his name's escaping me right now, but there's one top coach who, oh, um, Caleb, can't think of his last name right now, but if you guys Google Caleb Beachbody coach on YouTube, he's hilarious. He, um, I'll post his name in the team page, but he really has some of the funniest videos I've ever seen. And he's, you know, he's just really good with editing and super engaging and just like makes you want to watch his video. And sometimes, you know, I'm just like, Oh, that was kind of stupid, but like, at least he's getting a following. Um, so I mean, like I said, be yourself and kind of take it to your level in the way you want to, but entertaining people is always great. Cause you're going to get people to want to follow you and want to watch you. Um, so it's something to always be, you know, thoughtful of. Um, and the last thing I really want to talk about is being resourceful. And what that means is, like I said, your coach is always available to you. They're there for you when you need them to, but try to be resourceful as much as possible. You know, I hit diamond really early on in this business and 
I probably didn't utilize my coach as much as I could have like, but I, you know, I'm a really resourceful person. And I went into my coach online office and I looked around and I went on YouTube, but I looked at videos and I reached out to anyone that I could. And, you know, I was like that kind of, um, interactive type of person where I wanted to know everything at first and I wanted to find it on my own. And I'm not, I'm not saying that that's the way to go. I think there's a good balance between using your coach and being resourceful, but you know, I know it's sometimes easier just to reach out to someone and say, Hey, where's this document? But if you try to do it yourself, you may find something else you didn't find. There's everything available to you for the most part in your coach online office. And if you guys don't know where that is yet, you can post on the page. Um, you know, asking someone or ask your upline coach and they can help you. Um, but you really want to take advantage. There's a whole training section in the coach line office. There's challenge group guides to help you guys run challenge groups. Some people may not even know about that because um, I didn't know about it at first either. My coach never told me and I'm like, oh my God, these challenge groups are tough. Like how do I have to think about something every day to write that's inspiring on top of my posts? And then someone's like, you've never seen the challenge group guide? And I was like, no. So these are, all, there's so many tools. Like this is why we pay the, $40 quarterly for Beachbody to be a coach is because they have all these tools available to us. Um, so don't feel like, you know, you don't, don't feel like you can't reach out to your coach, but try to be as resourceful as you can, because there really are so many tools at, you know, online that you can find, whether it's in the coach line office or if it's on YouTube or if it's, you know, if it's something about a recipe or something, it's on Pinterest. There's so many Pinterest recipes. Um, so anything like that, you know, use the, use the tools that are available to you. Feel like you can reach out, but try to be as resourceful as possible because that's only going to make you more successful in this business because not only now do you know where to look, you're going to be able to help your team with these things too. And like I said, maybe you'll stumble across something that you didn't even expect that's going to help you. So I really think that um, that's a good thing. Um, Jenny, do you want to add to any of that before? The last thing I'm probably going to talk about is the push, but did you want to add to any of what you learned over the past week? Sure. Um, thank you, Heather. That was awesome. Um, hi, everybody. So I get I just wrote down a few things that I took away from last weekend. And Heather really um, touched upon most of it. But I guess like for me, the biggest like most powerful thing was just like getting to know everybody and being um, together in that one house and spending time together. And like Michael Hartke um, <clears throat> wrote a post about this the next day after we left. And he said like how amazed he was that we all sat around together the first night we were there. I mean, we had just met each other a few hours ago, most of us, and just started like bearing our hearts to each other and sitting around a fire on a, on a couch and like talking about our why. And, um, you know, Keith Callahan was there and, and Michael and, um, and, and, and it was just amazing to hear from everybody. And, and I, when I spoke, I said that, um, I actually heard a little piece of me and everybody else. Like I could connect with everybody else in that room. And, um, I think that just speaks volumes, um, about this business because it attracts people of a certain, I don't know, co commonality, I guess the word is, is just we all want the same thing. We all want to help people. We're all passionate about it. And that really was evident this weekend. And I've never just felt comfortable around a group of like 15 people that I, I never met before. That's like totally out of my comfort zone. But I did. I mean, I was totally comfortable. It was just, it was the most amazing thing. And like the next day, um, you know, we went downstairs in this little tiny room. And again, we're all sitting together. And that was when Liz and Michael like shared their finances with us. And again, they made it really clear. They're not like trying to be snobby or anything. They were just like, we want you guys to know that this is, you know, out there. This is where your business is going to end up if you want it. And, um, and then we all just started talking and, and like before we knew it, we're all like praying together. Like it was just like the most powerful, amazing stuff that went on. And I mean, the photo shoot was cool too, but like, just just being together and hearing Mommy. each other's stories was just mind blowing. Um, Kim Carver, like Heather mentioned, was Mommy. stop it was um, so inspiring too. And um, I mean, I could talk about him all day. I've already talked about him to several people about how freaking inspiring he is. He was incredible, and he's like a, a corporate guy. So 
we were all just like, where else can you go and have a, a guy from corporate come and spend the weekend with you and just start talking about his life and cry? And basically, he was like in tears, crying. So, I mean, that just speaks volumes about this business. Stop it. So, anyways, I'll shut up now because my son is going nuts. But, <laughs> but please reach out to me if you have any other questions about um, anything, anytime. Okay, mute. Thank you, Denny. Uh, he's so cute. Who wants mommy? Um, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, she's, you know, she's sharing like more of the heartfelt um, things that come out of these experiences that when you go to these retreats or when you go to a Super Saturday or you go to Coach Summit, that's why it's so important to get to these events because this is when you really connect with other people in the community. If even, even not just like your personal team, when you're meeting other people and you're hearing their whys and you're hearing their stories, it's so powerful. Um, not only, you know, to be successful in this job, but to be successful in life and to, to understand that there's so much more and there's so much more personally that like all of us have to give, um, you know, the, some of the incredible stories that came out of the weekend, like Jenny was saying, Kim Carver has this inspiring, amazing story with his family and, um, you know, being there all together and hearing their stories and it was emotional. I mean, I was talking about my why and I cried and, um, you know, it's like, it's this amazing opportunity to connect with people. And like Jenny said, you don't even know these people, but you just know that they're with Beachbody and that, you know, they're going to support you and they're going to be there for you. And like anything that you say is like in this community of people where they don't judge you and, you know, they just want to help you and help you succeed. And to be surrounded by that positivity and support is so powerful. And something that honestly is irreplaceable and it's really hard to find in this world. You know, obviously there are support, support groups and other things that you can do, but the Beachbody community and what this opportunity brings is so much more than just, you know, the financial piece of it or, you know, the coach part of it of running your own business. Um, so the last thing that I want to talk about is the push. And I know we don't have too, too many people on here and most of us are, you know, familiar with it and already have signed up our coaches, but, um, this really is an amazing opportunity if anyone on the call, you know, hasn't communicated it with their team or if they haven't given it a chance. Um, and if you're not too familiar with it yet, the push is an opportunity, an incentive opportunity to hit diamond in this business. And it's a six weeks growth opportunity. So you have six weeks starting on Monday to advance to diamond rank. And how it works is you would apply with $25. And your coach, because they believe in you so much, is going to match your $25. And the pot right now, I believe, is over $2,700. And how it works is if you hit diamond within these six weeks and you are registered to, to be a part of the push, um, you have the opportunity to not only win all of that money, but at least win a portion of it. So basically anyone that hits diamond will get to split that money. Um, and let me just tell you, I mean, it's kind of a double sword because I don't want to tell you that this is impossible. It's absolutely something that's difficult to do, but, it, and it is possible. So, but at the same time, not everyone's going to hit it. So there's going to be a good amount of money that you guys are going to receive if there's is something that you push for and that you achieve. So, you know, don't, and this is an opportunity that I wish I could have. I wish, I wish it was something that I could participate in because nothing like this was around when I was pushing to diamond and it's just another opportunity to make, you know, money for you and your family. And, you know, on top of becoming diamond rank, you're already making higher commissions. You're already bringing more money in for your business. And then you're going to get this added bonus, which could be over a thousand dollars to bring in just for hitting a goal that you would have set for yourself anyway to hit. So please, please, you know, think about this opportunity and take advantage of it because it's not one that I've ever seen. And I think it's a really valuable tool. Um, you know, there's going to be it's not, you know, you're going to be put into this private group. You're going to have support. I have to make some training videos for it. So it's not going to be as extensive as something like coach basics group, but there are going to be opportunities to listen to videos and to learn about this business. So, um, that will help you with pushing as well as working with your personally sponsored coach. And if you guys want more information about that, um, it is in my team page or you can reach up to your upline coach. So that's really all I have to cover tonight. Does anyone have any questions or Meg, I saw your question actually. Um, yeah, I just, I was wondering if I was going to be able to see, like if I was going to have access to that group. Um, Cause I do have coaches who are going to be in it. 
And I just want to make sure that I am following up on following up on like what they should be doing with them, but I won't have any way of knowing what I'm they should be doing. I'm assuming I'll have access since I'm making some of the videos. Um, if Audra, so Audra already said no or no, yeah. I, I saw somebody post the other day, the same question and they answered that. Um, I think that you would be able to have access. I think you just have to request to join the. I mean, like, yeah, you, uh, I mean, your dad's in it, right? Yeah, but my, like my dad doesn't have a Facebook, <laughs> so. Um, I would, I would just reach out to her and see if you can get at it. And if she says no, um, reach back out to me and let me know. Uh, yeah, I said to her, I haven't received an email yet. Will I get an invite to the group as well? And she said only those who apply and participate in the push are admitted. But, I mean, I paid into the pot for all of my coaches who paid into the pot. And, I mean, my dad does not have a Facebook. So I was just hoping that, you yeah. know. I'm pretty sure that Liz mentioned that we would be able to be added. So Audra might have misunderstood. Maybe she thought that you were yeah. part of it or something. I don't know. Because I thought she said that. Yeah, I thought she said, too, that, like, the co their coaches would be contacted with an invite. Maybe send an email to Audra and Liz together and just say, hey, Liz, like, or I don't know, maybe that's, like, or maybe just send Audra back a message saying, Liz said that I could be added, like, my dad's, like, going to be in the group, and he doesn't have Facebook, would you mind adding me or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, yeah, something along those lines. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. I see why it wouldn't be. Um, does anyone else have any questions? We already talked about some, and I'll get back to you guys on the housing for that this week. And thanks for calling in, Megan. You look so pretty. <laughs> I don't know if she can hear me. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. you too. And I'll post the recording on the page. So Watch the video. Okay, awesome. Yeah, All right, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, have a good Bye. Bye. Have a good week, everybody. Bye, guys. Meg, I'll see you in a little bit.